Hey there viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing Dax Vegetable Oils Pomade. Well, I haven't really been seeing a lot of reviews on this stuff, but Stephen McKinley did a really great job in re reviewing this pomade, so go check him out, giving him a little shout out. I watch his channel, I love his reviews, but today I'll be giving you my own take on this pomade right over here. I got this at the um, after store for about $4.99 with a free 1.25 ounce tin of Dax Short Neat. You can check out more details of um, how I got this at my Short Neat review. But yeah, a really good price for both products, only for 5 euros. Even if I get only this jar without the free Short Neat for 5 euros, that is still a really good price because you get a lot of product for um, such a cheap price. You have 7.5 ounces over here. So this will just last me a really long time. And one of the reasons why I'm attracted to this pomade is because it has funky color. It is dark green, which is... You don't really see many pomades with fancy colors like these. Unless if you're Asian like me, chances are you would know what Tancho is. It's the most legendary and famous Asian pomade ever. If I get my hands on it again, I will review it as one of my favorite pomades. But for now, let's just discuss the um, Dax pomade instead. It looks like a glass jar. When I first saw it on the internet, I thought Dax makes pomades in a glass jar. I mean, I mostly see them make their pomades in their metal tins, what they advertise as Dax wax, which are really just pomades. However, what they advertise as pomades are released in what appear to be glass jars. And when I went to the store and saw this in person, I was astounded to find out that it was plastic instead of glass. It just lifted up and felt like much softer than it should be. And I was like, hey, this is plastic. I shouldn't worry about dropping it anymore. I mean, I dropped this once because I'm just incredibly clumsy and it's still in rather good shape. Okay. It contains really healthy ingredients. Like what it says on the heading over here, it contains bergamot, um, olive oil, and castor oil. The only thing I'm pretty much con um, concerned about the ingredients over here is that it contains green 6 coloring, yellow 11. I mean, it is just not really so necessary to add color to this pomade because I'm not sure whether it'll give a neutral effect or whatever coloring is. Um, just pretty uh, much unhealthy. I don't exactly know, but this looks like an overall, a well-rounded, healthy-looking pomade. So I decided to give it a shot. This is what it looks like. It looks kind of gooey and greasy. It has a very um, gelatin-like appearance to it. It is um, dark green. You can see already. I've used this for about six days already. I have some of the buildup in my hair right now. I have six days worth of buildup. It has some what of a fruity scent to it. I just really, really can't put my finger to it. It kind of smells a little like fruit, some kind of, I don't know what kind of fruit, but it just smells rather fruity and kind of sweet. It also smells like plastic at the same time. Scooping it out, looks like this. It's really soft and touch. I was, I thought it would be like a light medium or something, but, um, Light medium would be an overstatement for it, and light, a light pomade would be an understatement for it, so it's somewhere between a light pomade and a light medium. I thought it would feel like Tancho. But it's actually softer now than that. Rubbing in your hands, you get sort of a really oily, green, translucent kind of appearance. You'd expect this to be really shiny, and it, indeed it is really shiny. The shine is very comparable to Murray Super Light. Okay, so, um, to be honest, about this whole, it's not the best, but it's not too bad either. It just 
does its job at just what it needs to. It it is not very special in that aspect over there. In that case, um, Stephen McKinley, if you've seen his video on this pomade, he's right about his hole not being just it's just your average Joe um, light greasy pomade. Not not too special, and I have to agree with that. Easy application. Of course, because it's sort of a light, a lighter pomade. Now let's get to styling. Oops, I have to apply more to the back. Now let's get to the um, styling aspect of this. Well, honestly, the first time I used this, um, I've been having issues with the front of my hair because my hair, if you watch my videos, my other videos, I mentioned that my hair is mostly straight but slightly wavy at the front, and I find it thin hair. However, um, occasionally, because of the waviness, the slight wave at the front, um, some curls just kind of tend to pop out a little bit. And um, when I first used this pomade, I've been having issues combing the front of my hair because little curls just keep popping out. So you kind of expect, expect that from um, lighter pomades like these. However, yeah, forming your part would be incredibly easy. It's great to slick back and distributing the product around here. It's all well rounded. And for the sides, yes, I got a haircut um, around this week. And dealing with the sides isn't too easy if you got short sides. Honestly, um, that short and neat, even though it's a lighter hairdressing, it does a better job for that. Um, but then, even after a three-day buildup, I kind of have an issue with this when I just get out of bed and wet my hair and towel dry it. The sides just tend to um, stick a little more, but today, it's, it's sort of behaving. My, my sides can manage to go down today. For this video, I just don't know why. Maybe one of the reasons why it's because it's after a six-day buildup today, it's on... Um, I put this on on Monday, and today's Saturday morning right now, so it's my sixth time putting this to my M60 of build-up. Um, when you start with this, it's just, it's easy to slick through. I mean, you wouldn't expect something too difficult, of course. It's a light pomade, so obviously coming through it would be rather easy. Now, for forming the contour at the front of it, it is... It is actually really easy to do, do that. With this pomade, the hardest thing I find is actually making sides, but today they can manage to go down, so I wouldn't really have much of an issue. But actually on buildup, it is a lot easier to style, particularly the front. When you just when you just put this on on the first day, which is new, um, you would if you have slightly wavy hair or wavy hair like me, um, you would expect some curls to just pop out over there a little bit and it's kind of just keep frustrating to um, keep them combing it over and over again. Sometimes you just have to add a little more. But um, if you're on a week's worth of buildup or maybe after three or four days, you won't really have that issue anymore. Um, but honestly, talking about I keep talking about the buildup of this product, which actually is true. The One of the most amazing aspects of this pomade is the buildup because it just... Due to the healthy ingredients and oils in there with lanolin, vegetable oils, and whatnot, you just feel that your hair is really nourished. I mean, on the first day of using this, your hair becomes really soft. It's comparable to when you use Royal Crown Pomade. Um, and the buildup doesn't feel too greasy, even though this is actually a very greasy pomade, but rather you feel that your hair is um, nourished. It's not dry at all. It's especially great for the winter time um, because in winter, you know, your hair and your skin kind of just dries out easily. And also, you see a very beautiful shine on this, a really nice high shine, and that's one of my favorite aspects about this pomade. And the good thing about this pomade, about a shine, it gives you an Aldi shine that um, looks the same as when you just applied it. The shine just retains throughout the day. It doesn't um, 
die out like other pomades. Just they just tend to dull out a bit, but retain the shine. That's what other pomades do. But this one does not even dull out a single bit in my experience. So yeah, you're really seeing that high gloss over there. This is what it looks like. How's that for a nice high shine? Therefore, this would make a really, really good topper because it would soften up your um, heavier pomades. You can use this in conjunction with the um, Red Dax Wave and Room. It'll give you that really, really high shine, even if you use it just um, without a top, without a base product um, alone. You just use this product alone. It gives you a higher shine, and usually, if you use a lighter pomade as a topper. The shine dies out less and you have better chance of retaining all these shines. So if you can retain the same amount of shine with just this pomade alone, imagine what it can do if you use another base pomade under it. Overall, the best things I would say about this pomade are its shine. It keeps an all these shine, a really nice eye shine that I love. It looks very um classy. It's you can use it for the greasy look or even use it for the unprofessional look in a business or school environment. It just really gives you the um, wow appearance. People would just look at your hair as if it's glowing. According to um, JC Hellhouse, I'm pretty sure a lot of you know his blog from the Dapper Society. Go um, check it out if you haven't. He's one of the most famous pomade reviewers out there. He says that this pomade, about its shine, he notices that it gets shinier throughout the day. Honestly, I beg to differ because I don't really notice that for me, but um, maybe people notice different things or they work differently for um, different types of hair. But as for me, I don't notice the shine increasing throughout the day, but what I do notice is that the shine retains when you put it. I just, that's one of the best aspects about this pomade is the shine. Um, it's build up what it does to your hair. It's just nourishing and moisturizes it. And finally, of course, its price and its size. This would really last you a long time for a cheap price. It's cheap, it lasts you um, a long time. It's got a lot of product in there, great shine, great buildup. Um, just go check it out if you would like to. But uh, for those of you who like light greasy pomades, if you see this pomade in the store, just bother to try it out. It is. Okay, it's actually better than I expected. It smells better than I expected. I thought it'd be one of those weirder smelling pomades like Tancho. I'll just keep comparing this to, comparing this to Tancho. Tancho um, reminds me a lot about it because it has a similar color and almost a similar hold consistency. Just this um, this one is um lighter and softer than Tancho to be honest, and it smells better. I mean, because of Tancho. When I see pomades like these, I just expect them to smell kind of weird. It has a very, um, Tancho is an Asian scent to it that kind of smells like herbs, or um, what should I say? If you are Asian and you know the medical ointment Zam book, that's what Tancho smells like. But uh, this one smells like fruit and plastic, so it smells a lot better. And it's one of the shiniest pomades out there, I'd say. It's just, it's, Almost comparable to Super Light. It's slightly a bit more than Super Light, but it's less than Tancho. Tancho is still the shiniest pomade, number one shiniest pomade, I'd say. But don't hesitate to try this out. My final verdict on this it is overall an okay pomade. Don't look for this pomade if you're looking for um, some hole in your hair. But if you're looking for a topper or you're desperate for money and you can't really afford many toppers, but you just need something to, um, as a bag for your buck. Just go buy this. I highly recommend it as a topper, but as a standalone product that doesn't really do much other than add shine and um, a build up. So yes, Dax pomade with lanolin compounded with vegetable oils.